Hey, Susanna, look what I can do. Hmm? Yeah, cool. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Oh. 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 Awesome. Ooh, check this out. No way. Are you even listening to me? That's amazing. Come on, you didn't even see what I did. You gotta get off your phone. What? No way. Oh, so now you'll listen to me. I'm not getting off my phone. Give me the phone. <laughs> no. Give me the phone. No. Fine, but I will find a way to get you off your phone. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. You're gonna be late for class. Meh. There's a fire! I got you a kitten. I'm allergic to cats. I got you a car. I'm only 14. Wanna get food? I'm listening. McDonald's? Ew. Burger King? Meh. Jimmy John's? Nah. Panera? Psh. Starbucks? One ice star ghost with whipped cream, half a scoop of ice, and a pinch of sugar. Never mind. <laughs> Come on. You know what? No! You gotta get off your lazy butt and do something productive. I don't wanna. Well, you gotta. Like what? I don't know, you could like read? Boring. Well, what do you wanna do? I don't know, maybe, oh, look at that. What? <laughs> hey! Welcome to Trojan TV. I'm Maggie. And I'm Chloe. That phone skate was hilarious. Yeah, it was. We are pretty addicted to our phones. For sure. So everybody, put your phones down and let's find out what's happening this week. The first talent show tryout was today. All other auditions will be held in Miss Abel's choir room. The tryout for today was for instruments. Thursday is for dance. Next Wednesday, February 22nd, will be vocal auditions. All other acts will be February 24th. If there is a snow day, makeup auditions will be on February 28th. Please direct all questions to Ms. Taglauer in room 805. Students have been cross-country skiing at Timber Ridge. Here's Elena and Alex with more on this story. The Vasa Ski Club is underway at Timber Ridge for students interested in cross-country skiing. We have 82 students out there that are learning a lifelong sport. They're learning to go faster than they ever thought they could go and to have fun on the snow in a totally new way. Throughout the years, the Vasa Ski Club has caught the interest of many students. My older friends did it the year before and they said it was fun, so I did it. Um, I feel like it's a good way for us to meet people and interact with other schools, and it helps us to have a team that has numbers. Perfect, you know what you're doing, you're doing a drill. So, yep. So you're gonna put? The Vasa Ski Club is a great way for students to get outside and get active. The program is about just getting students out there to have fun on the snow, to learn how to ski, and to really just learn the right techniques so that they have a sport they can do the rest of their lives. This has been Alex and Elena reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks, guys. The 8th grade into 9th grade orientation night at Central High School is set for February 28th from 6.30 to 8.30 in the auditorium. 6th graders and 7th graders, if you haven't turned in your course requests for next year, they are overdue. Please see Mrs. Podsad ASAP to get them completed. Don't forget that East is offering free after school tutoring for math and reading. See your counselor for details. Three East Middle School students are getting ready to go to Japan. Here's Matt and Colin with more information. The Japanese exchange program has brought a cultural experience to East Middle School. We'll learn about our similarities and how much we are alike. We are global citizens united through our humanitarian efforts and curiosity for learning and continued growth. There are many reasons why students chose this program. I wanted to go on the Japanese exchange because it's just really good experience to have eventually once in your life and it's such a good influence on culture and you can just learn a lot from spending a week with them. The students did a lot of things during their stay. 
Sunday we just kind of went through our routine and we went to see our friend's horse and I think that was kind of surprising for him since I don't really know if they have horses over there. And then the rest of the week he just came to school with me and after school we just kind of relaxed and did what we did, what I would do normally and then he just kind of experienced that. The students had many favorite moments during this time. Definitely going tubing and um, like getting a bunch of speaking practice with the Japanese language. Um, I think that was really essential to like me learning and being um, more um, better at that language and that skill. It's just like having a best friend with you all the time, except you don't really have to worry about like having them over and stuff. They're just always with you. Our East students will leave for Japan on the week of February 22nd. This has been Colin and Gabe reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks guys. The Japanese students will be leaving for Koka City, Japan on February 22nd. 8th graders, the last day to sign up and be paid fully to attend the Washington, D.C. trip by February 16th. To apply, visit the Announcements tab on our website at the link. If you are already signed up, you need to turn in your room assignments to Ms. Mackey by Friday. Girls basketball is underway with games on Mondays and Wednesdays here at East. Come out and support the team or look for live coverage of games on our Trojan TV YouTube channel. Congratulations to Math Count Defender champ Oliver Phillips and state qualifiers Ethan Rowe, Georgia Heinz, James Turner, and Matthew Stosky. The cafeteria is offering more and new healthy choices. Mackenzie and Lexi caught up with kitchen manager Kristen Gray to find out more. In school districts across America, there is a significant amount of overweight children, but East is trying to prevent that with the healthy choices in the cafeteria. With all of our lunch options, we have to be under a certain amount of calories, and so our dietitian Jody works with the guidelines that we have, so each week between calories and sodium, daily and weekly, she has to be under a certain amount. If you are wanting to maintain a healthy lifestyle, the cafeteria might just be one of your options. But a healthy choice option for me is, I would normally get a main entree and a side salad or the vegetable choice. Um, I, I enjoyed my fruits and vegetables, which is a big push. And with the new government guidelines that they started a few years back, they are trying to push more fresh fruits and vegetables. So each meal, to make a meal, needs to be at least having one full cup of fruits and vegetables combined. I grab the stuff that looks like it could be good for you or normally what's green, like a lot of fruits and vegetables. Students' choices have changed since this move has been made. The student choices are very nice. They, uh, there is a good variety. And like this past week, we've had some new menu items. We brought back the Bosco sticks. And then we had um, a pesto pizza, a personal pesto pizza, and a meat lover's pizza. I know some kids still look for the, the more sugary treats. But with the guidelines that we have, everyone's been doing very well. And it's a much healthier option. A lot of our um, items are a whole grain. And what some of the kids may not even know right now is our cookies are even a whole grain that we serve every day, <laughs> which is very surprising. And they still have a really good flavor. Despite the push for healthy food, students still struggle with making the right choices. Um, it seemed like they were um, a bit better. Um, they don't they like they taste a lot different and they look a lot different. Well, uh, in my opinion. I don't, I, think, I don't think it's necessary because we already eat wheat bread every day. It, uh, in the wheat bread isn't everything. With those changes, I think it's been a great option for our students. This has been Mackenzie and Lexi reporting for Trojan TV. Well, that concludes this episode of Trojan TV. You can follow Trojan TV and DMC on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook by searching at East DMC. And don't forget to check out additional DMC and newspaper coverage on our website, the link. Have a great week, Trojans. Bye. Bye.